What's going on guys? This is Paul Ravella coming to you from Jacksonville, Florida. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Uh, it's been a pretty hectic couple of weeks in my life. Um, as many of you know, my son was born on March 29th, Sloan. So my wife and I have been uh, adjusting to life as parents, which um, it's been really good. Um, it's kind of just a, a very fluid situation. You just got to kind of adapt to what's going on. I'm sure, you know, a lot of people out there who aren't parents could care less, and a lot of people out there who are parents can probably relate to, you know, the things that I'm going through. I'm not going to go into depth to, to it, but um, it's been awesome. I'll say I think we're very blessed. Um, I've been able to keep up with my usual activity as far as um, work and uh, the gym for the most part. You know, I have had to cut out a few things. Um, sleep is definitely at a premium at this stage, so... Um, you know, I'm happy to get five or six hours a day, um, sometimes it's broken up, but I'm pretty happy with how things are going, um, my wife is an, is an awesome mom, you know, it's, it's, I guess you never know how it's going to be till your, your child arrives, and I'm very happy with, um, the way that she's handled it, and the way I've handled it, and my family has been amazing, my friends have been amazing, some of my clients have sent gifts, um, so it's just been, um, it's just been a real, uh, a real enjoyable couple of weeks. Uh, he'll be three weeks old in a couple days here, so he's um he sleeps a lot, eats a lot. But on to the next thing. Um, hit a squat PR in the gym last Friday, which I was uh, I could not have been happier about. It's one of my um, I'm a terrible squatter, as I tell you every video. But one of my lifelong goals was always to squat 315 for 10, as I just felt like that was a good number for me, just a good goal. And I did 315 for 10, and I was very happy with depth, uh, speed, everything. I'll put the video in this video of me performing. I had to shoot the video with my iPhone that day because um, I had left my my GoPro at home. So I actually have my iPhone just sitting on the on the windowsill. But luckily, the new iPhone has a pretty good camera. So got video of that. Um, so I'm still doing the DUP squatting. I've decided I'm going to do a powerlifting meet on June 4th in Melbourne, Florida, uh, Raw United. Uh, it's a good organization. I've done two meets with them in the past. I think maybe even the third. So they're um, they're just a great great organization. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I just the reason I decided to do a meet now is um, I've been doing DUP for a while. I've been focusing on the squat since December, as you know, when my squat max when I started was 315 for a single after coming back off an injury and contest prep and just I, I never could get any any congruency to my training to make progress with my legs so after coming back from the from the injury um, it's been non-stop progress and I feel like I'm at a point now where I kind of need a carrot at the end of the stick at, at first squatting was its own reward but now I'm kind of looking forward to um, putting a goal in place and uh, hitting my hitting my numbers each time I train, hitting my reps, and then going into a meet and performing. And um, I'm gonna have Ben Esgro handle my powerlifting um, uh, prep. So he basically is going to control my um, squat bench and deadlift. I'll still be doing all my own hypertrophy work, um, which has been great so far. Um, you know, I've, I've been working with Ben with DUP since, I wanna say February, and you know, I hit a 385 squat before Australia, and with hitting 315 for 10, and the way the squats have been feeling, I'm confident that I'm going to get over a 400 pound squat, especially at this meet. So it's really just going to be the next nine weeks to just drive home all the work I've been putting in. Bench and deadlift are fine. I'm not. I'm not super focused on either of those. I'll probably bench at the meet 380 to 400 in that range, and then I'll probably deadlift. 520 to 550 in that range. Um, again, the focus is on the squat right now. Um, so, who knows? Uh, I did pull, I think, about 527 when I was in Australia, which I wasn't expecting to do. So, um, you know, and all my lifts have been performing well. So, with that in mind, June is going to be my first power lift since 2012. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the next thing I have coming up is um, I'm doing a seminar. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this guy named Lane Norton, but he's a friend of mine, and he's really smart, and he likes to talk a lot. So, he is hosting a bodybuilding show in Orlando called the OCB Orlando Championships, and him and Chad are promoting it. 
So I've been helping with some of the promotion, and what we decided to do was make the weekend all about the sport. So on Sunday, the 27th of April, we are having a seminar at a gym in Altamont Springs. Uh, very limited number of people. We're only having 20 people come. Um, we're going to do two training seminars, two, two training sessions, and we're also going to do some lectures. Uh, Lane and myself are going to be speaking. So I'm excited about this. Uh, after seeing Lane do these things all over the world um, and having so many of my friends and clients in Orlando ask, when's Lane coming? Now he's coming. So um, uh, as of right now, this seminar has one space for me. So if this video goes up and you're interested and you're going to be in Orlando that weekend, let me know. Um, but I don't expect it to still be available. But you can inquire. So I also got some interesting news. Um, my friend Ben Esgro and my other friend Ryan Doris, who also did the Australia camps with me uh, and Lane and everybody, mentioned that he was going to be in town. So surprise, surprise, everyone that paid to see myself and Lane is also going to get to see Ben and Ryan. So it's going to be a pretty epic weekend. Um, it'll be my first adventure out without the family. Um, unfortunately, Sloan is only going to be five weeks old, so we're not going to bring him down. Instead, I'm going to have somebody come and help my wife out for the weekend. Uh, I'll be going into Orlando, staying at the host hotel. Um, I have some people competing in the show. So it's just going to be a good weekend away for me to, um, to just get recalibrated with the sport. You know, ever since I got back from Australia, the focus has been purely on um, my wife and my son and um, my business, of course. So when the, when the shit hits the fan, you know, the order of importance becomes very clear, you know. Um, and I will say I'm very happy that I've kept up uh, with business. My pro physique is doing amazing. Thank you guys for that. Um, whether or not you are friends or clients or you're just spreading the word, uh, it's going extremely well. So I've been very blessed in that regard. And then also in the gym. I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in one of those periods where everything's improving. Uh, I've noticed increases in size in my back shoulders, chest, especially legs, um, you know, when you've been training for as long as I have, started training in uh, 1991 or 92, probably before some of you guys were, say it, um, a long time ago, so, you know, as you know, there, there, there's, there's swells and there's depressions, and so, in training, and I, this is one of those periods where I'm in a good swell, everything seems to be in line. If I have an injury, it seems to go away quickly. If I nick myself a little bit, it doesn't hinder me. Um, I've been I've been able to go to the gym five to six days a week consistently, um, and just really, really, you know, hit my numbers at home on the diet. It's just one of those good periods, you know. So with 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 the baby, I kind of expected it would be a little less. I would have less ability to actually focus on the things at hand, but it's just like anything else in my life, I find that the more more pressure I'm under, the more stuff I have to do, the more I get done. It's, it's the times in my life when I don't have a lot going on that seem to be the least productive. The times in my life that should be the most stressful are often the most productive. You know, like, I remember when I got my pro card in 2009, I was actually in the midst of completing my master's degree, um, which sounds crazy to me, but I was going to school full-time, working full-time, and going to the gym full-time, and dieting full-time, and, you know, carrying on a, a relationship, and, you know, it was just, uh, it was just a period that taught me that, you know, if you, if you want to get stuff done, you can get it done, you know, you could make excuses for just about anything if you want to make an excuse, but, um, so that being said, with the full-time daddy duty, and, um, around-the-clock baby care, you know, obviously my wife and I are a great team. Well, I've managed to also hit my stride in the gym and uh, with my business. And uh, I think I'm keeping up pretty good with my friends and family. And um, I actually managed to play golf the other day. So maybe I'll put a clip of me swinging the golf club right here. Um, overall, it's just been um, it's just been a great 2014. And I, I, 
as great as 2013 was and 2012, I just, I see some even greater things in 2014. There's some stuff on the horizon that I've been um, asked to be a part of, and I'm not going to bring it up right now, but um, it's just, it just, it's just been great. It's been great growing the business and um, staying involved in the sport. We will be doing the uh, the bio lane camp, the VIP muscle camps in uh, in Tampa. That's the middle of June, so that's going to be crazy because we're doing we're doing back to back camps because they sold out so fast. We decided to do two. Then uh, we're going to be in Toronto later this year. So um, and then you got to throw in the Olympia weekend. And you got to throw in uh, whatever else. It's just going to be. It's just going to be non-stop great stuff going on. So, anyway, I don't want to get this too long. I just wanted to put a video out because I know it's been a while. I'm sitting in the parking lot of the gym. It is 4 o'clock. It's time for me to go squat. Um, and I'm pretty excited because my squat sets today. Uh, again, if you're a squatter, who's, you're not going to be impressed by this. But today, my working sets are 305 for sets of 6. For 5. 5 sets of 6 for 305, which doesn't sound like much. But considering my max was 315 in December, um, putting 300 pounds on the bar and using that for working sets just it fucking gets me excited, man. Like when I'm when I'm doing working sets in the threes and over 315 and 320, like that's gonna just that's just gonna feel like inside me I've I've made some some progress and God knows the squat progress comes slow. It seems to come at a snail's pace, but when I look at the the, the picture from from December to now from 315 to you know probably close to 400 right now um, and while doing it healthy and my form has gotten better my technique has gotten better uh, I couldn't be happier so thanks guys hope uh, hope I didn't lose y'all because I've been gone so long I'm gonna start doing some more videos if you have any more ideas comments questions below I will uh, I will keep up with everything and uh, Get to Orlando April 26th for the OCB Orlando Championships. It's the only pro qualifier for the IFPA in Florida this year. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a, a great turnout. It's going to be a great venue. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.